previously on Talent Search Cymru. We crowned a winner. Donna! Well done, Donna. You are the brand new series representative, your newest representative of Talent Search Cymru. It's Donna! Now it's time to search for the next undiscovered talent across Wales. Who will be next? It's back. It's the auditions. Oh yes, we are back, ladies and gents, back at Lanilith Miners Institute, searching for the next undiscovered talent from across Wales. Many applied from across Wales. Today, we begin the audition. Let the auditions commence. Returning back with us is our crown champion, Lily Evans. Joining us for the first time on the panel, it's rock star Declan. Back where he belongs, it's me, Joey Blake. Right then, guys, we're back for the new series of Talent Search Cymru. Um, we've got Declan, Declan joining us. Hey, big up Declan. He's all a part of with us this series. Um, you looking forward to it, buddy? Yeah, I'm very excited to see the time that we've got in Wales. Just mental and we're just getting through the process. Amazing. And you're definitely going to perform with the band for us at some point now. Oh, possibly, yeah. we got to, man. Got to, oh, got to bring got to the get, rock. Be done. Bring the rock to town so it's come really like. Oh, we'll definitely bring it to the Definitely. Lily, our previous, well, not our previous, but our pre pre previous winner. Um, this is your second series, isn't it, on the panel? It is my second series. I'm How so excited. I'm so like, happy to be back. I can't wait to see um, what talent's going to be brought forward this series. Because as like last series, we had Donna go on and win the process. Yeah. But not just Donna. Some of the people we had in there that now are all about going to gig in and things like that. Chelsea, Caitlin, Delicious Steve. We yeah. had so many yeah. good talents, like, you know. Um, so I'm just praying that the series will bring the same. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling it's going to be a good series. I think we're going to have some varied artists. I think there's going to be some uniqueness there. I can't wait to see what they bring. I can't believe this is happening now. You know, like at yeah, it's amazing. our age. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin the auditions. How are you feeling about the audition? Well, <laughs> where do I start? I'm kind of nervous, but super excited, actually. My name is uh, Wenin Mass. Uh, I'm 38, soon to be 39 years old, and I'm originally from Cardiff. When I was selected, when I finally got the phone call after a few anxious nights of waiting, how did it feel? Amazing, like, ecstatic. I couldn't believe that I was buzzing. I mean, at the moment, I still want to be jumping around on my tippy toes. Generally, I am. <laughs> I skydive as a hobby. I um, I used to shoot target rifle for whales, so beware. <laughs> as a kid, I started doing musical theatre in Cardiff, like in the new theatre and things like that. I then went and studied in London. I did performing arts as a degree. Um, afterwards, did not with it <laughs> until now. Yes, I'm back. If I won Talent Search Cymru, um, I don't know, words can't even describe. Like I'm very good at articulating things when it comes to music, but ask me this question. Question, I can't possibly answer because it's too unfathomable to even go there. I can't answer that question. How would it feel? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be bringing my keyboard along. And I haven't quite decided yet what song I'm going to do. It's a little bit of a surprise for you folks. 
You better watch out because wedding is coming for you. How are you feeling? Uh, really excited, nervous, and uh, can't wait to do it. I've noticed you brought the keyboard. I have indeed, yes. <laughs> I'd rather have a piano, but a keyboard will suffice. What sort of experience have you had in terms of music? Because when I look at you, and especially with the keyboard, you look very experienced. So what, what have you done actually musically? I've always been interested in music. My family, my mum's side, were very musical theatre based. So I did a lot of performing arts as a child. I actually studied uh, performing arts in uni in London, um, but did nothing with it afterwards. <laughs> I'm teaching myself. I don't read music. Singing, I know I've got, but the, the actual company myself is new. So, yeah. Right then, Ben, and when you're ready and you're on time, you begin the audition. Thank you. All right? Thank you. La da da. La da da. La da 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 da. La da da da. You've got nothing to be nervous of. You're superb. You'll smash it. Dear Mr. President, come take a walk with me. Let's pretend we're just two people and you're not better than me. I'd like to ask you some questions if we can speak honestly. What do you feel when you see all the homeless on the streets? Who do you pray for at night before you go to sleep? What do you feel when you look in the mirror? Are you proud? How do you sleep while the rest of us cry? How do you dream when a mother has no chance to say goodbye? How do you walk with your head held high? Can you even look me? in the eyes and tell me why la da da la da da la da 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 la da 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 dear mr president were you a lonely boy are you a lonely boy are you a lonely boy how can you say no child is left behind? We're not dumb and we're not blind. They're all sitting in your cells while you pave the road to hell. What kind of father might take his own daughter's rights away? And what kind of father might hate his own daughter if she were gay? I can only imagine what the first lady has to say. You come a long way from whiskey and cocaine. How do you sleep while the rest of us cry? How do you dream when a mother has no chance to say goodbye? How do you walk with your head held high? Can you even look me in the eyes? Let me tell you about hard work. Minimum wage with a baby on the way. Let me tell you about hard work. Rebuilding your house after the bombs took them away. Let me tell you about hard work. Building a bed out of a cardboard box. You don't know nothing about hard work. Hard work, hard work. Let me tell you about hard work, hard work, hard work. How do you sleep at night? How do you walk with your head held high? Dear Mr. President, You'll never take a walk with me. Oh, would you? Wow. 
Wow, Venon. Thank you. Um, Declan, I want to come to you first. What did you think of Venon's audition? First of all, I'm very jealous you can play an instrument while also singing because it's a skill I've not mastered. Uh, but no, that was uh, that was quite frankly amazing. Um, I enjoyed the fact that um, you kind of hit every note you possibly could. I like you went really powerful while going from very soulful. And I just really enjoyed the performance altogether. It's, it's really hard to be energetic when you're behind an instrument, I find. And you kind of nailed that. And it was very captivating. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Lily, what did you think? Venon, you're so unique. I love that you're so different. I've never heard anything like that for audition. And I love that you bring something very different. I like that you brought a lot of technicality there. Whether you know it or not, there's quite a lot of technical elements to that that performance, uh, which were great. And yeah, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Well done. Thank you so much. For an audition, especially coming into something and having to sing, with no like effect to the mic or no backing instruments or anything, it can be quite intimidating for people. What I noticed through that performance, even though as an audition, you know, there may be a few little like excitement nerves and things like that. A couple of little things in the vocal that need to be cleaned up a little bit. When you sing a song like that, especially the build at the end, you need to make sure you have enough breath there and things like that. Like you said, this is all self-taught and I can see that. That's, that's the parts I can see. The beauty of what you do as an artist is that natural vibe that you got in how you sing. Very, very raw. I actually think this process could change so much for you in terms of how you present. It could really, really pick up on things to make you even better again. Like where you're at now, you're a raw, weird diamond. And it just needs polishing off a little bit to that place where it can go, wow, this girl is an absolute star. All you need to do is dedicate yourself, commit it, and I know you are because you've shown that so far. You're excited to come in. Just give everything you possibly can. Take everything you possibly can on board from the judges and anybody else and really put everything into this. And I, I promise you, you will absolutely shine. Absolutely shine. You should be really proud of yourself. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. How do you feel about entering Talent Search Camry? Are you excited? I'm really excited and I can't wait. Oh, I'm glad. Well, you know me, Dad, and the girls are all proud of you. And yeah. no matter the outcome, you just got to think of the experience that you're going to go through. And as you always do, do your best. You've got a big personality and everyone loves you for it. And I'm sure it will show in the competition. Dad, how are you feeling? Very excited and proud. Um, it's a big moment for the game. It is, yes. Man? I just want to wish you luck again. I know you'll enjoy it and just enjoy the experience of it all. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm 13 and I'm from Balroyd. I was chilling on my phone and then my mum came into the living room and she said that I've gone into Talent Search Cymru and I was, I screamed and <laughs> I was um, really happy and I was so excited. Other than singing, I also like to um, draw and I like art and um, I like to spend time with my friends and family outside and inside of school. I've been singing since a very young age, since I was really little and I am also in this after school club, um, a drama club and we do a little bit of singing in there and I'd love, with this experience, I'd love to grow my singing and to get further in life with my singing. If I had one talent switch Camry, I would probably most likely cry and I would be so happy. Overall, I am pretty confident with my singing, but I'd love to build that up more and present myself more to the audience. For my audition, I'm going to sing a song that I love and perform my best and hopefully I will get into the next round. So what are you going to actually sing for us today? I'm going to be singing Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. God, that's a belter of a song, that is. <laughs> so yeah. take your time. When you're ready to start, breathe, and you just start your audition. Okay, thank you. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Harder than a fantasy. Lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. Whoa! She got both feet on the ground and she's burning it down. Whoa!
can see the flames in her eyes. What you want, she's lighting up the night. But nobody knows that she's a lonely girl. And it's a lonely world. But she gonna let it burn, baby, burn, baby. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. She's walking on fire. This girl is on fire. Well done, Kelsey. Thank you. Oh, she's got a big voice, haven't she? Massive. Declan, what did you think? First of all, it's very hard to sing a cappella, and that song especially, I mean, you literally rely on solely off your voice, but no, like, that was, I like that, that was really good. Yeah, you, I mean, you were hitting the notes perfectly, especially in the chorus. I like the husky tone you kind of had during the verses, that was kind of a nice contrast to when you went to the chorus, you went very powerful and just pouted up notes. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're only young, you've got plenty of time to improve, but as an audition, that is pretty solid. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Lily, what did you think? Kelsey, I can't believe you've got such a big voice. <laughs> You're such a small person. <laughs> and it was it was a very, very good audition. You obviously have a good range. You've got the power there. Um, to be honest, I think it's a massive song. I'm slightly worried that it was going to be too big for you. But I think you made that your own. You handled it very, very well. Thank you. And um, I love that you, you just have this ability to just shine through. You didn't seem nervous at all, considering you're so young. You, you're not up there shaking. You, you're very confident with your ability. So well done. You should be really proud of yourself. Thank you so much. Kels, look, again, like I, like I said to the previous auditionee, this is completely new for you all. And especially yeah. like yourself, like this is something you're only now starting to expand in with your music because yeah. there's always been art and things like that. Yeah. Um, so you've definitely ended up in the right place. There is a lot of work to still improve in terms of how you're using the voice completely, yeah. little things like that. You can tell that you haven't had a full experience in music, which is understandable because you're young, you know, you're a child, yeah. you've still got a lot, lot of long way to go. But in terms of what you've done then, there were certain elements in how you sang, especially on the, the runs that you was bringing down the steps down. Yeah. When you was doing that, I was like, wow, this girl has definitely got enough there to work on with her control. Yeah, so you should you. be really proud of yourself for an audition, especially a song like that, because that is not something I would have picked for an audition <laughs> because it's such a gutsy song. Um, but it, in a weird way, it really worked. It worked in your favor yeah. because once you got to the choruses, we really got to see you shine. So you should be really proud of yourself. Again, if you are successful throughout this process, take everything on board because that's what's going to be needed for you to grow and develop, all right? But well done. Well done, Kelsey. Thank you so much. I'm really happy. I wish you good luck and I love you loads. Thank, Thank you. I love you loads too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hayley. And I'm Josh. And together we are The Connect, the Connect Streets. Uh, so when we were selected for the series, we were actually really excited, weren't we? Yeah, it was quite exciting to have this new experience. Yeah, we were looking for something more to bring to our act and... Yeah, definitely. Here we are. Aside from doing singing, I used to be a cadet with the Lanwin High School uh, Combined Cadet Force. Um, I was a Lord Lieutenant's cadet for Gwent. Um, I took one of my teams on to do the Cambrian Patrol and um, to win the Whale Shooting Competition for the Target Rifle. Um, I was a sergeant, so I was like the most senior cadet there. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Well, mine's going to sound really boring compared to that, but I do like <laughs> the outdoors a bit. <laughs> no, I like going for fires and all that in the woods, and I like exploring and rock climbing and swimming. Before we started this duo, I played a lot of solo gigs in pubs over like 50 sort of things. I've done relief festivals and all that. So before I went to college with Josh, I was doing, I was in a choir. Um, I did a lot of solo stuff, so like with the, the choir in the school, um, I was part of the Custer Choir, which was amazing. Um, and then I went to college with Joshua, and then we met, and we were, we were part of separate bands doing separate things, and we decided to bring us together and become a duo. If we won this competition, it would feel like a dream come true, because this is sort of something that feels like my whole life has been leading up towards, and it's something I'm very excited to accomplish. Even like from the beginning, we've always wanted to do an album together and write some stuff together. So this would be 
is such an amazing opportunity for the both of us, wouldn't it? Yeah, it definitely would be. Yeah. So for our audition, we're going to bring high energy. We're going to give her our all. We're going to be absolutely amazing. And we're going to pick a song that allows us to combine our strengths. And hopefully it'll be a fine up job. It'll be amazing. Obviously, we know a little bit about you, but just for everyone else. So what are you, um, what are you going to actually be performing for us today? So we're going to be doing Crocodile Rock by Elton John. Mm -hmm. um, An interesting choice. We're really excited about it. Right. So when you were ready now, take your time, breathe. And then both of you start your performance when you're ready, all right? So much fun Holding hands and skimming stones Had a no go Chevy and a place of my own But the biggest kick I ever got Was doing a thing called the crocodile rock While the other kids were rocking around the clock We were hopping and bopping to the crocodile rock Well, crocodile rock and we some to jog And when your feet just can't keep still I never knew me a better time, and I guess I never will. Oh, a lot of over those Friday nights. As soon as you wore her dresses tight, crocodile rocking was out of sight. La 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 la. Well, the years went by and the rock just died Susie went and left me for some foreign guy Long nights crying by the record machine Dreaming of my Chevy and my old blue jeans Mother never killed the thrills we got Burning up to the crocodile rock Learned fast while the weeks went past We really thought the crocodile rock would last well Crocodile rockin' with some good jockin' when your feet just can't keep still I never knew me a better time and I guess I never will Oh, a lot of mama, those Friday nights Miss Susie wore her dresses tired Crocodile rockin' was out of sight La 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 I remember when Rock was young Me and Susie had so much fun Holding hands and skimming stones had a no go Chevy and a place of my own But the biggest kick I ever got Was doing a thing called the Crocodile Rock While the other kids were rocking around the clock We were hopping and bopping to the Crocodile Rock Well, Crocodile Rock in with something shocking When your feet just can't keep still I never knew me a better time And I guess I never will Declan, what did you think of Kinetic Streets? Uh, Josh, you gave real frontman energy. Like, you're so energetic while playing keyboard, singing at the same time, you throw everything to it, you can see you're absolutely loving it. Uh, your tone was nice all the way through as well, like you were spot on. Uh, but I feel like when you guys harmonize together, Josh, you seem to overpower Haley a little bit. I think you've got quite a low and like powerful voice. 
Katie gets a little bit lost during the harmonies. Uh, but you were both amazing. I uh, really loved that performance. Lily, what did you think? Oh, Kinetic Streets, I love you. I love that audition. I, I really like those screams as well. You just brought the energy up instantly in the room and I love that about you. I like that you've done a song that I wouldn't expect you to do. It was something very different and I like that again. Both of you have beautiful tones to your voice. Both of you equally. It's lovely. I do feel like, um, Josh, you're kind of, you, you definitely have the lead kind of vocal in that, that particular song. And the only thing I would have liked is if, hey, if, um, if you'd have done, you know, on the Lars, maybe if you'd harmonise with going a bit higher or something like that, just so we could cheer your voice comes through a little bit more. It's always going to be um, overpowering when you're singing with a strong male vocalist. But there's ways that you can go around that by doing, you know, your harmonies and making it your part. But it was a fantastic audition. I really love that you kind of bring an energy that I know we can work with and do different things with and different themes. You're definitely, like you said, up for doing the different challenges and challenging yourself. So I do really like that. It was just a great audition all around. Well done, both. Thank you. Um, look, both of you should be really proud, right? First thing is, right, there's one billion percent talent there, yeah. right? You're both very, very talented. This is the trouble. And this is why we need to fix it. And I'm glad to you because we can't help you if we don't, don't know who you are or where you are. What you can learn from this is how to become a professional duo, all right? And what has happened at the moment, when I watched that then, it was like two solos on stage. Hayley was more subtle and a bit more reserved back here. And Josh, you was on a mission. <laughs> so what happens then is the performance as a whole clashes. So that's where you've got to take more understanding in what you're both doing as artists, right? Josh, I want to come to you vocally first, right? In terms of what you've done then, I was really blown away. Really, really blown away. Because I, do, I feel like there's a little bit of unsurety in you. Maybe because you haven't done anything like this or anything with it. So you haven't got to really speak with people that are in the industry. But I'm telling you this because you need to know it. Like your potential as a male vocalist is extraordinary. It really, really is. You just need to believe that. And the way you presented yourself and the way you performed and you felt the song is perfection. And I think that's something that Haley, you can learn from Josh, just like Josh can learn things from you. As a duo, you bounce off each other. So definitely pick that up. I'm hoping that with a process like this, you can come a little bit more confident in front of us because even on the parts, when you both sing, no matter what duo you are or trio, or whatever. So if you get a solo part on a song and the other person's not doing anything, just standing there, it looks awkward. So if he's singing a solo part, you need to be in, still feeling it. Even though you're not singing, like you're still part of that performance. It's very important to remember that. So in any gaps that you were not singing, like if he's still in the performance, look at him, act it out, that sort of stuff, right? Take that on board. There's one billion percent talent there. I think you probably needed this to, to have that bit of a boost to say, do you know what, we can do this. You both can do this. You could do really, really well in this process. Just commit to those things that you're being told, all right? But honestly, you should be really proud. That was fantastic. I really into that. I was and well done both. So how are you feeling about getting through? I'm really excited to see how far I go in the competition. I know you can do this. You you are so talented. I know you got this. So Jaden, is your audition today for Town Search Camry? How are you feeling? Really nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Hi, my name's Jaden. I'm 14 and I'm from Newbridge. When mum told me I was going to be taking part in Talent Search Cymru, um, I was really excited. Other than singing, I love playing football for Trio Win and I also support Chelsea. I've had experience with, kind of a bit of experience with singing, such as Voice Kids, um, I did an audition for that, and I also take GCSE music in school. If I had to win Talent Search Cymru, I would be absolutely buzzing. So my goals in singing is to go as far as I can. So how excited are you, Jay? I'm really excited. Well, I'm really proud of you for getting through, and I wish you the best of luck ever. I'm going to bring everything I can to the audition and hopefully I can get it through to the next round. Good luck, Jay. I know you can, you've got this in the bag, mate. Hiya, Matt. Hello. How are you doing? All right, like. You excited for this audition? Yeah, I'm really nervous. Like. Tell us a bit about you, you know, why have you come for Town Search Camry? Um, I've been singing for a really long time and I really want to show everyone what I'm capable of and sing like. Awesome stuff. 
What are you going to actually sing for us today? I'm going to be singing Power of Me by, I don't know, I forgot his name. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Right. So just breathe now. And when you are ready, you start, right? Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't panic. Just enjoy it, all right? I want to be king in your story. I want to know who you are. I want your heart to be for me. Oh, wow. Uh, I want you to sing to me softly. Send out my run in the dark. That's all the love ever taught me. Oh, uh, calling over shout. Oh, out of breath now. You got that power over me. Mama, everything I hold dear is eyes in those eyes. You got that power over me. Mama, the only one I know, the only one on my mind. You got that power over me. You got that power over me. You got that power over me. Remember the lake in the moonlight. Remember you shivered and shone. I'll never forget what you looked like on that night. But I know that time is gonna take me. I know that day is gonna come. I just want the devil to hate me. Oh, I uh, call and over shout. Hold out of breath now. You got that power over me. Mama, everything I hold dear is eyes in those eyes. You got that power over me. Mama, the only one I know, the only one on my mind. You got that power over me. You got that power over me. You got that power over me. It was all in doubt. You were all around. So we had a way and never tell. We decided if darkness knows you well. The lesson of love, all that it was. I need you to see, you got that power over me. Mama, everything I hold dear is eyes in those eyes. You got that power over me. Mama, the only one I know, the only one on my mind. You got that power over me. Wow, well done, but sorry, I couldn't help clapping then. Um, <laughs> Wow, Jaden. Declan, what did you think of Jaden's performance? Well, clearly a song you enjoy because you sung with such passion. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, I feel like verses are especially hard to sing a cappella because the way they are, they go very well to the beat in the actual song. So um, they felt a little bit still at times, but you still powered through, but you really came alive in that first chorus and you started soaring from there. There's a little bit of a nervous start. I mean, you clearly see you're nervous. I, I would be as well. I would be absolutely terrified. Uh, but no, you, you really came alive push through and honestly after that first course uh, you just took over and i just love how you put every single fiber of your being into each and every part of that song uh your tone was perfect throughout personally for me uh and you sound literally just like the singer in the chorus it's like literally i was like oh i listened to the song that was amazing well done all right thank you very much lily what did you think Jaden, you need to believe in yourself from now on you really do need to believe that you are very, very good. You are very talented. You've got such a mature tone to your voice, a stunning tone, but it, you sound a lot older than what I believe you are, which I love. And I, I think you've got a very current sound, a sound that's very popular at the minute that would fit anywhere in the charts, which is great. And I loved your song choice. For someone who hasn't got much experience, I'm guessing, within the music industry, I think you've picked a song that suited you very, very well. And it was just an outstanding audition, honestly. The, the nerves, I mean, I can see they were there at points. Your hand was shaking, bless you. But like considering that you're that nervous and that will affect your performance, you held it really well and it sounded great. Well done. Right, thank you. Jaden, I'm pleasantly surprised. There's a reason why I clap for it's because of your ability and where I know it can go and how damn good you could be in this whole entire industry like we've been doing this a long long time now 10 years and it's where we find these sort of talents like yourself and i'm telling you this because i don't know if you've been told this or mama been told this about you that we find these talents that have got something so much more than just being a good singer and i believe that's you i really believe that's you obviously there's a lot of nerves there was nerves screaming through that performance then there was nerves everywhere i could tell that 
But obviously, I got to look at your ability beyond that to know what we can work on and what we can. We can work on your nerves. We can get you more confident. That's not a problem. In terms of your voice and your ability, you need to believe that you can do this. And I promise you that, buddy, you can do it. You could generally make a really fab career out of this in music if you dedicate yourself. I know you love your football and everything, but this is what you should be doing from what I'm seeing, 100% hands down. Use this process as a tool to build your confidence because those nerves have got to start to disappear, all right? So any challenges that are thrown at you, whatever, take it all on board. Push yourself, and I promise you, if you're successful throughout this, you will see, and man will see, a completely different Jaden coming out of this process, 1 billion percent. You should be really proud of yourself. That was a fantastic first audition, buddy. Well done. All of you, thank you very much. Well done, buddy. So with this competition now, you just got to be you, show everybody what you're capable of now. Be confident because mm. you've got a lot of support and we know you can smash it. How are you feeling about maybe, I, I didn't realise that you could possibly record an album at the end of it. I'm like, I don't know how to feel about that because I never actually thought of like recording stuff and no like putting it on the internet and stuff like I've never actually thought of stuff like that no and just you know to be only 11 and have my own album it's crazy isn't it yeah imagine that how are you feeling about your audition I'm feeling really excited but nervous at the same time are you going to just sing your heart out though yeah and ma'am how are you feeling about his audition being uh, quite confident in him yeah uh, yeah, and I just want him to enjoy every minute. So, Dad? Yeah, I think um, he's going to do us proud today and uh, just enjoy it, boy, innit? Hello, my name is Riley. I'm from my Stig and I'm 11 years old. When my mother told me that I was going to be on Talent Search Cymru, I was lost for words. <laughs> when I'm not singing, I'm cooking or playing football. And when I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'm listening to music on my Alexa. I have very little experience in music, but I have gone to a few open mic nights around my area, but after all, I am 11. If I was to win Talented Cymru, I wouldn't really know what I would do. I know I'd be really happy, but I'm not quite sure what I would do then. My goals in future are to become a professional singer and a professional actor. Well, I'm really excited, Riley, to see where you're going to go with this competition because you blow our minds when you sing. It's absolutely amazing. Grandpa and I are so proud of you. And we're going to share this journey, hopefully, for quite a while and become professional <laughs> in the family. <laughs> for my audition, I'll be going with the flow and trying my hardest. Right, well, you tell me, you tell me. Right then, so what are you going to actually sing for, for us today? I'll be singing Shallow by Lady Gaga. It's a big song, it says, especially for a boy, it's a big song. So when you're ready now, just breathe and then you start your performance in your own time, right? areas to improve like always but I can't really list them right now I'm not gonna lie so yeah keep doing what you're doing you, you'll smash it well done thank you
Um, Lily, what did you think? Riley, do you know, you have left me speechless. I did not expect that. I can't believe you're 11 years old. And your tone is lovely. You've got a lovely tone anyway. It's very unique. Uh, you've just got like a twang that I can't really put my finger on. It's just different and it's really nice. I can't believe you took the song higher than the original key. <laughs> I thought it was a big song anyway. Uh, and you obviously raised the bar again, which is just insane. And the fact that you cut the song so short, but made such an impact within that what one minute, that is genius. I I just love the performance. You are so good and you are going places. Just keep it up, keep the dedication and honestly, you will be great. I love how excited you are and you just seem ready to go for it. It was a brilliant audition, well done. Thank you. Riley, I think we, we all need to kind of take this moment in because when we're here in the moment and we're seeing these auditions, we're watching everyone, we're like, oh, they're fab, they're fab sort of thing. But I, I, from my experience, I need everyone to literally take this in this moment because I genuinely believe, right, in my core, that this is the birth of a star. And as a lot of people already know, we have a lot of talent going forward for the TV shows every year and things like that. Shout out to Travis recently too. I think you're next. I generally believe that in my heart and soul. I'm not saying I'm right because it takes a lot to get to that point, but I 100% will be pushing for you to go on to the next Voice Kids because this is remarkable. I know you're young and everyone's like, oh, he's cute and all of that sort of stuff, but forget the cuteness. You were coming for blood with our voice, literally. You've got huge potential, buddy, and I know you're willing to learn and I know you're willing to push yourself. Well done. Thank you so much. What an incredible first lineup of auditionees. So many inspiring talents destined for stardom. Next Wednesday, it's the remaining auditions. Wow, <laughs> what a first audition. No, sorry, I'm absolutely shocked, especially that last audition we just had. Um, but everyone in, in all, like, you know, I thought that was fantastic. What did you think of that? There's amazing quality there. They're a true star potential, I believe. And I honestly can't wait to see what everyone brings. Considering that was a first audition, the amount of potential that's there is just insane. Yeah. Declan, what about you? Like, obviously, first time on the panel. What do you think of the first auditions? I mean, everyone was amazing tonight, you know? Like, perfect all the way through. I absolutely loved it. I mean, it's only the first half of the audition, so we've got plenty of time to get through. Yeah, of course. And I mean, there was a lot of nerves, that, like you sensed that with, I think, everyone pretty yeah. much. Um, there was definitely nerves there, but that's to be expected on an audition. Um, it's just about overlooking that, I suppose, and seeing right, what can they do beyond that once they're more comfortable. But the potential is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really looking forward already to the next auditions. Me too. Um, Deck, how are you finding it? I just can't wait to see what comes next week. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. We will see you all next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Bring on the remaining audition. I am a fighter.